Men will never get this feeling. Like, they'll never know what it's like to be a girl. Hello vlog, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi Amber, and if you're new, what's good, what's poppin', it's lit around here. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I love you. Down. Let's get into this week's vlog. This is going to be a vacay prep vlog because I'm going on vacation next week for my birthday. So going to take you along for all the appointments. We're going to do a haul later in this video. So buckle up, be prepared, join the ride, all that good stuff. Today is Sunday. Pretty much a chill day for me. I'm trying to edit all my content and get it up before my birthday because I want to be able to post live when I'm in Brazil. Ah! Trying to get all my content like I'm trying to catch up because I have so many TikToks like backed up So trying to do that now today is Sunday. So Madison and I are going to grill You're probably tired of us grilling at this point like the last vlog we literally grilled like every weekend But this is our thing like grill time sister time community time like that's our thing I'm gonna make this watermelon. I already started cutting it this watermelon feta arugula salad that I had at a restaurant it was so good I'm like I'm definitely gonna recreate this so that's what I'm literally doing right now and am I ever not recreating a salad that I had at a restaurant like what is my problem but that's what I'm doing so let's do it together then we're gonna head to Madison's and we're going to chill out for the rest of the Sunday so let's do it Taste test. Mm. Okay, vlog here with Madison. We're about to get on the grill. Like I just said, a grill hates to see us coming at this point. They should have never taught us how to use these things. Madison made some mac. We also have like all the other grill stuff in here, like my salads in here and all the things. So we're just gonna chill out. Say cheese. <laughs> Congratulations, you have made it to the haul portion of this video. I have so much clothes to show you guys. I don't think I went too, too crazy, but I definitely like did go a little cray cray. Nevertheless, I wanted to look good on my vacation. I wanted to serve looks down. Like I haven't really hopped in my fashion bag in a minute. So I really, really wanted to get good pieces. So I'm gonna walk through all the things that I got. I got clothes from IMGA, Shein, Fashion Nova, Ego official so we're gonna go through this pretty fast because I got a lot of stuff I'll show you guys how I style it on the side as always and don't forget to subscribe so that way you can see my vacation vlog where you'll see these outfits in action so let's get into it okay we're gonna start with jewelry so these are all the bangles that I got from Shein I think some of them came as sets and then some of them came individually but I'll walk through each of them so we have this nice like little charcoal bangle which is gonna go really great with my birthday dress which I'll show you guys in a bit this really cute seashell bracelet it is quite big on me so we'll see how that works on actual vacation and then I got these two red bangles because I have a couple red outfits but I do think that they're a nice pop of color for vacation and on this side I just got this large um, set of bangles you can see it literally has the little zip tie thing on it because these all come together so I got this large set of gold bangles and then I got this multicolored brown set so I got this brown one here this one that's in like a little cream quartz kind of color and then this more opaque brown color so these are all the bangles that I got super cute I cannot wait to style these I don't really have many bangles so this is my first time like getting like bangles for vacation I really did want to explore with more colors but I feel like this was a good start so I'm happy with it and then I got this set of like cute and kooky gold rings they are super adorable these all came as a set and they are in gold I really swear I got silver jewelry too but I don't own many rings so I'm really excited for these I got these gold bracelets so this one is kind of like bamboo earring style which I really really like and this one like snaps clothes and then this is another one that snaps clothes this is what it looks like it has a little bit of texture on it if you can tell if you can see that and then this one is a linked bracelet super cute it's like 
the little watch links but it doesn't have a watch on it and then i did get this silver set of bracelets so this one is a little heart there is this little chain one chain this one that has like the little balls on it this one is also quite adjustable so you can like bend the balls to like fit your wrist yep and then here is the other bracelet it's just a little link chain bracelet nothing too crazy last thing for jewelry i got these two waist beads i think these also came as a set this one is like a gold seashell kind of vibe so this is what it looks like the next one that i got is just red and these are waist beads but i'm pretty sure if i wanted to i could also like do a necklace moment this one i'm sure is one of those necklaces like you do here and then it like drapes down but you can also wear this as a waist bead as well i've worn this as a belt before so and then this one again i think is also one of those ones where you can like the little boop and then you can also wear this as a waist chain that's all for jewelry so now let's get into the clothes so starting off quite simple this white tank top it is a good material it's quite thick next thing that i got is this mesh cheetah print skirt now i thought this was going to be a little bit thicker so i'll probably only be able to wear this as like a bathing suit cover-up because she is very 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 see-through but i thought this would be really cute with like a black top a black bikini even like a red top because red and cheetah go really well together next thing that i got is a very trendy item it's just this white flower t-shirt it has like this yellow and green flower print on it and i can insert a picture and video of how i styled it because i've already wore this already i probably won't wear this on vacation because i've already worn it but this was really really cute the infamous bubble skirt if you don't have a bubble skirt at this point like like you are strong you are one of god's strongest soldiers to have the willpower to not get this skirt when it's so cute and it goes with so many outfits like more power to you because i felt like i was the last girl on earth that didn't have a bubble skirt so i got this white bubble skirt this one is in more of like a satiny like material i don't know if it's really showing up on camera because it's white but it's more of a satin like material this one is very very poofy and while we're on bubble skirts i also did get a black one now this one isn't as poofy it's like a little bit more flimsy kind of like a windbreaker material and this one is also a little bit shorter than the white one so out of the two i would say that one is the better quality so the next thing that i got is this cute like bandeau mesh top so it goes all the way down and then it has this gold ring accent up here it's more covered at the top but mesh at the bottom i was really thinking of pairing this with like micro mini shorts okay the next thing that i got is this dress i feel like every vacation you need this like a dress that you can just throw on and this is one of those dresses i'm not like too fond of this dress at all it's just this orange color it does have this slit right here it also is open back i'm not sure how well this is gonna fit me so i think that's why i'm like a little bit hesitant about this dress um, but yeah, this is just one of those like, I don't got nothing else to wear, I don't want to wear my cute, cute clothes right now, so I'll just throw on this dress, and that's what this is. We have the lace shorts, I feel like, again, you are strong if you have not purchased one of these, because these are super trendy and so girly and so cute. I've heard some people say like, these look like a diaper, but they're a cute diaper in my opinion. This is really, really good quality. I got these in an extra small, and I can also, again, insert a picture of me wearing it, because I've already worn it, because... I just gonna help myself. The next thing that I got is this sequin skirt. I feel like sequins are making a comeback. I feel like this is so hitting the town, vacation vibes. Like, I really, really like this. But it is quite long, so I might, like, fold it over, like, a couple of times because I want it to be a bit more mini. Okay. The next thing that I got is this white off-the-shoulder top. Now, I have a vision for this top. It's gonna come together. It's not the best quality. It's very, very see-through, so this is definitely more of, like, a beach beach day outfit because this shirt is not as thick as i thought it was going to be it also does do a little bit of ruching on the side which is quite nice so the next thing that i got are these linen pants they're in this like coral pink orangey color these are a bit big on me i am gonna still wear them and try and make them work but i plan on wearing this with um a black bikini just to like offset the bright pink i'm five six five seven so if you're like five two this is you're gonna be swimming in this the next thing that i got is this yellow halter top with these like little split sides it's a very 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 flattering top i'm not too sure how i'm gonna style this like all the way 100 percent yet i do have some ideas in my head and obviously you'll see it on the side come together i'm not too sure how i'm gonna style her but she's a really really good quality like not see through at all now this ruffle skirt is not as funky fun as the last one that i showed you because this one is like a lot 
more cheaply like made in my opinion i don't know if that's picking up on camera but let me just bring it a little closer yeah it's like super like it's paper thin like yeah very very thin not super like flowy and flappy like the white one i don't know if i would recommend this but i'm still gonna wear it and rock it and see what it's giving but i'm not sure about her okay next thing that we got is just this yellow star top i plan on wearing this with the black skirt and maybe some heels or maybe a denim skirt and some black heels but i like this i feel like this is very much like block party in brazil vibe so okay the next thing that i got is this printed red skirt this to me feels like a lot more designer-esque than a lot of the things that I got. Like, it definitely has that designer vibe to it. I'm probably going to pair this with a black, like, crop top or something. Or maybe a black bikini because I feel like the skirt does a lot of the talking. Very, very cute piece. Probably going to wear this, like, on the beach or something. But I really, really like this. Okay, the next thing that I got is this um, crochet green skirt. Again, something that came in a lot of different colors. It does have an adjustable drawstring on it as well. And like I said, since I'm going to Brazil, the colors are green and yellow. I got these. So that way, if we wanted to do a picture with like the Brazil shirts, I had something to match with it. So I got this. I also got another, I was indecisive. So I was like, let me get the crochet one and the, and the lace short version. This one is a little bit different from the last two that I showed you. This one has a bow on it. And then it does have like the little more frilly lace. This one feels a little bit more like pajamas. Still high quality, but feel like a little bit more casual than the white ones. Last but not least, I got these yellow shorts. I plan on pairing this with the white off the shoulder top. This is a lot longer than I anticipated it being. I thought it was gonna be a little bit shorter. So we're gonna see what the vibes are giving, what it's hitting for when we try it on. It has like the little ruffles on the leg and then also around the waist. But I really like these. I also got a set of white and black lace socks. I found myself like gravitating towards like socks with frilly designs on the leg of the sock. So I just got a whole pack. I only got one bag in this entire haul and it's this really, really cute red leather bag. It's a lot of space in here and I think it looks way more high quality and way more expensive than it actually is. And I'm really excited to wear her. So this is gonna go with a lot of my outfits. So I'm probably gonna get a lot of good use out of her. Moving on to bathing suits. I don't think I'm gonna try on the bathing suits, but I will show you guys what they look like. Like I said, make sure you subscribe for my vacation vlog because I'll be wearing them in that. But I just got this, yeah, this black and white, like minimalistic bathing suit. So that's the bottom. And then this is what the top looks like. The next bathing suit that I got is in this metallic gold color. I think it has like a little bit of cheetah print going on or like cracked vibe here like when you had the cracked nail polish but the bikini bottoms have like this little ring detail here and this goes around your waist so it goes like that so it's like a jersey kind of material so the top is like a jersey bikini top with the numbers on it and then it comes with comes with a little cover-up that says 19. this reminds me of like miami dolphins colors and then the bikini bottoms also have like the little peak of the 19 as well so very very cute next i have this black bikini with this ring detail on the sides on both sides again this is this looks a lot more high quality than it is way more expensive than it is and then i really really like the top because it does have the little ring detail like that's gonna lay on your skin it, oh this is gonna be so cute i cannot wait to wear this last but not least i got another bikini with the cute ring detail so this is what the ring detail looks like this gold is quite cheap like i feel like this could break very easily so i'm gonna be very careful with this and then the bottoms also have the really cute ring detail on them as well but again i do feel like this is quite cheap like it's a very, very plastic. Lastly, moving on to the shoe portion of the Shein order that I got. I just got these rope platforms. These are so cute. And again, very, very good quality. Like, wouldn't expect this of Shein, honestly. The rope is like a little bit of like a goldish gold vibe to it as well. I got some white sandals to also go with that bikini. I feel like this is a little bit 
a little bit too matchy matchy but we'll we'll see we'll see i feel like they're so cute nonetheless the next pair of shoes that i got are just these white knot heels but they have like this little cute ball detail on the foot on the heel part of it the gold is very cheap looking like i'm almost afraid to walk in these um but this is what i'm planning on wearing with my birthday outfit because this is really cute i really like the knot detail on it it makes it look a little bit more high end next thing that i got are these foam green flip-flops these are very very small i suggest sizing up two sizes for these but i bought these because i'm gonna be in brazil like i said already green yellow so i wanted to have shoes that were green and i got another pair of white sandals yeah i feel i don't know if i like these as much as i did when i put them in my cart like right now they're just looking like a bit cheap to me so the next thing that i got are these yellow sandals i do think these are quite big but they're very basic nothing crazy here literally saving the best for last my favorite two shoes so first starting with these really short kitten heels it has like these ring details on them and like these buckle details it's really 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 cute the final thing i have to show from shein are these bubble platform flip-flops these again i would size up on them size up two sizes because they're quite they're like a little like a hair too small for me everything from shein moving on to fashion nova the first thing from fashion nova is this denim set so i'll show the top first so the top is like this little triangle-esque halter situation the bottoms are these micro mini shorts this next set i definitely had higher hopes for but it's this orange sequin like bedazzle sequin sparkly sequin two-piece set and it has like this ribbon going on right here then it comes with this skirt which is also adjustable here and also has like these little ribbing mesh little moments at the bottom as well but it also comes with this arm thing which i'm like really not a big fan of i really liked it on the website but when it came it just doesn't really give what i thought it was gonna give like it just doesn't fit right it doesn't fit or sit right on me so i'm not sure if i'm gonna wear this with the set but i do still like the set by itself and last but not least you gotta going on vacation you're gonna need an airport outfit so this is mine surprise surprise it's green but i have these green sweatpants and it does have like the little tight ankle and then i got the hoodie to match but this hoodie is a cropped hoodie and it has like a little silver detailing for the zipper it doesn't have pockets on the jacket but the sweatpants do have pockets that's everything that i got from fashion nova moving on to ego official the first thing that i got is this crochet set skirt is very very long but it has multiple different crochet patterns along the skirt so it's this one at the top then this one in the middle and then at the bottom it's this and then the, for the top it's just this crochet top with these really really cute seashells seashell detail right here everything that i got from ego official the quality is literally not what i expected for the price like i definitely feel a little bit cheated this two-piece set definitely more of a nighttime kind of vibe okay so this is the skirt and the skirt does like this little like ruching thing on the side and then the top is basically a scarf like but it like covers your boobs like this and you knot it here i feel like the the concept of it is very very cute like i do like this um but again i don't think that it was worth the price my friends and i are supposed to have an all white night um so i did get this dress it's very trendy i've seen this dress in multiple different styles on multiple different websites and i was really excited to get this one because it's like a little bit of a different take on the dresses that i've seen with but i'm not really feeling the under part with the the pink like i'm just not feeling that at all this last thing is probably my least favorite out of everything again this is something that i plan on wearing on my actual birthday for the boat it's just this wrap sarong it's definitely more of like a beachy kind of vibe that brown linen color top is supposed to be this off the shoulder vibe but it's way 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 too long and i got it in a small like the sleeves are entirely too long so the only thing that i got from img is this two-piece set but i'll show you the pants first so i got these like basketball varsity vibe shorts they do have a number on the back i'll come up and show the details a little bit more the drawstring is in this blue color i really was hoping that this was going to be a little bit more tight fitting um because it definitely looked tight on the web on the model on the website and i got this in an extra small but it really doesn't fit my waist or my butt really well and then i got this 
um top to match with it it says IMG a sport and then it has like this mesh bottom I really like the mesh bottom I feel like that definitely gives Brazil for the grand finale my birthday dress I got it from this website called Falash um I don't think they're based in the US. I think they're based in like Russia or something. This dress is super complicated. I had to email the company and ask them how to wear it, but it's so, so, so nice. Like I'm even looking at it like just jumbled up and mushed up like this and it still looks really really cute yeah this is the final thing i'm not gonna try this on i will insert pictures it'll probably be the thumbnail for this video so you will have seen this dress already that's all for the haul that's all i have to show you guys like i said we were gonna go through this quickly that was really quick but i hope you guys enjoyed the haul portion of this vlog now that the haul is done i'm gonna go pack all this stuff away into my suitcase and let's continue on the vlog with the rest of my vacation <laughs> nails are done they look so cute so vacation-y so stunning ah, I'm so excited like we're like 70% 70% we are 30% loaded is that the right math I don't think that's the right math let's just break it up into 20s anyway I'm 20% of the way loaded for being a birthday baddie I'm nails Mm, done my hair I washed it before I left because I don't want to wash my hair with new nails and I didn't get a chance to dry it So I literally threw on this hat and like put my hair back in a bun my hair appointment tomorrow is early 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 in the morning I did get a package from Sephora I ordered some makeup because I was running low on a lot of stuff I'm not gonna be looking crazy on my vacation. So I need the best of the best It's time for me to treat myself. So this is like my little birthday gift to myself. So first I got this birthday gift. I got the Summer Fridays lip balm and jet lag mask, which is perfect because I'm literally going to be on the plane. I've never tried the Summer Fridays balm, so let's see what it's hitting for. I don't even feel like there's anything in here. They gave me an empty... Oh, no, they didn't. Y'all, if I ever spent money on this, I'll be pissed. Ooh, it does give a good gloss, though. Mmm, look at that sheen. Mmm. Does it taste like anything? It doesn't taste like anything. I'd be pissed if I spent my money on this. I'm so glad I did not let y'all talk me into buying this. Next thing I got is um, the one size all day um, setting spray. I already have this, I already use it. I live and die by it. Like, if you want your makeup to stay, just get that. And then I'm obsessed. Did I tell you obsessed with the St. Bart's collection from Way? Did I tell you this girl is empty? This thing is empty. Like, I used it to the last little drop. So I'm really, really hyped I got this. This is like a value pack, so it has the body cream. I think these are all full sizes too. So it has the body cream, the body wash, and the scrub. So I'm gonna take this on vacation with me because I get two free check bags. So I'm gonna be smelling good. And I know my sister gonna try and steal it too. The body scrub, even the box smells good. The cleanser, eh, the best part of it all. Literally a new a full size of this. So that's a really, really good deal for all that. I think like all this total would be like $100. Yeah, $100 and then this was 60. So good deal, good deal. I had to re-up on my, on my soft matte pot concealer. This is the concealer I live and die by. Like I will not, <laughs> I will not use another concealer. This is what it looks like. If you ever want to get into the store, nice and clean and fresh and new. And then this was like one of the samples, Irresistible Givenchy. Let's see. I don't like this. And I think this is actually a male perfume. I don't know why I assumed that this was going to be a female perfume. But let's see what it smells like. Oh yeah, this definitely smells like a man. Can't be spraying this around my house. And then, oh my gosh. Sephora online only they have the Danessa Myricks yummy skin Blurring balm powder everyone talks about this. I've always wanted it. I don't have any Danessa Myricks products I'm so hyped for this because I I think this is only like a hundred Sephora points, but it's online only so um, I'm putting y'all on game. I'm giving y'all tea. I'm getting y'all hip. I'm So hyped for this. I hope it's the same exact packaging and everything too. Men will never get this feeling. Like, they'll never know what it's like to be a girl. Like, they'll never know. This is gonna be perfect for my birthday makeup. 
I'm so excited. Got the Kayali Vanilla Rock Sugar. Everyone says that you should have like a new scent for vacation. And I feel like I smelled this in the store. I'm really big. I'm a big vanilla girl. I really wanted the Kayali Utopia Vanilla. But they don't have the travel size of that anymore on Sephora's website. I don't know why. So you can only buy the big size. And I wasn't doing all that. You know what it smells like? It smells like YSL Black Opium. It smells like a sweeter version of YSL Black Opium. I don't know. I'm going to wear it a little bit today and tomorrow and see like how I feel about it but I'm really excited for my I'm really happy with my purchase okay let me show you what I got from Amazon and then I'm going to go ahead and blow down my hair but I got these human hair bundles pieces whatever they are so thin like look at how thin this is this is going to be at best at best two rolls of braids like I got two of them and it still feels like this is literally not going to be enough. So I'm quite literally afraid. Like, I don't know. I feel like the braider is just going to have to work some magic. I hate to say that. I got two film cameras. Obviously, I love taking film photos. And then I got a pack of pasties because free to knit, but like not every day is nipple out. Like, but let me stop yappy, yappy, yapping and go blow dry my hair because my appointment is at 7 a.m. from my hair appointment and I went to the nail salon please don't even mind this pimple patch like I don't even want to talk about it I'm back from my hair appointment my hair looks amazing stunning stunning I'm so so glad I got braids because I am getting in that water <laughs> I'm getting in that water like I suffered enough birthdays with the lace front I'm getting in the water Okay. And yeah, so I got my hair done. I also just got my toes done as well. I didn't record much of that. I was literally relaxing. And then the lady, she asked me if I wanted to get my eyebrows waxed. And I actually did. So I told her to wax my eyebrows. They look really, they look pretty good. I told her not too much. I, I literally said it every time she laid down the wax. I was like, not too much. Because I know how they be. And I haven't got my eyebrows waxed in a minute. Like in a hot, hot minute. So I was going to film a clothing haul tonight. But I'm just going to save that for tomorrow after my lashes are done. I really didn't want to put on makeup after I got my lashes done. I need to wash my makeup brushes. I will do that tonight even though I do not want to. I will wash my makeup brushes because that needs to get done. I think that's about it. This is the fun part now. Now it's the fun part. Pack it. Well, everything about this is fun. I don't know why I'm saying that. That's the fun part. But now I get to like make the outfits. Let's do this. I just came back from getting my lashes done. They look so good. This is the first time I've sat up from my lash appointment and actually liked the lashes that were on my face for the first time ever. I just filmed the haul that was in the beginning of this video. But now I have to pack everything. I'm gonna organize my outfits, try them on as well. So I have to do the film the try on portion, but that's fine because I was gonna try them on anyway. And then I'm gonna start getting to packing. I got these packing cubes, they like compress your clothes. So I'm gonna organize them by like day, night, Day outfits, night outfits, bikinis, undergarments, nightgowns, and stuff like that. I also went to the beauty supply store, stopped by the beauty supply store. Just got some new um, earrings. And then the girl that did my hair yesterday, she had this spray bottle. And this is so good. I was like, I need to buy it. So I got this from the beauty supply store. It like does the continuous mist. I'm sure like you're probably no stranger to this, but like I was shot at how good this was um and then the last thing that i got is this braid bonnet the one that i have currently is pathetic it literally is pathetic so i just got this braid bonnet it kind of like looks like a do-rag but then you literally just wrap it like a do-rag at the top obviously like i'll do it better when i'm actually gonna need to do it but this is really really nice but let me get to trying on these clothes and then i need to pack Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, let me pause the music. Just finished filming my try on portion of the haul and while I was doing that I was actually sorting my clothes from daytime, nighttime, just trying to put the fits together so that way I know what accessories and things to bring. So it took a little bit longer than I anticipated but all good. I need to put my phone on the charger and see where my sister is because she said she was going to leave at 6. I need to call her and check in on her. So now that all my stuff is like organized somewhat I need to pack, count how many outfits I really have and if I need to bring anything extra and that's about it. Should I film me packing? Yeah, let me film me packing. Let me be a good vlogger. Let me be a good vlogger, okay? My sister is here. Good morning. She wanted me to recurl her in, so hopefully this worked. If not, oh well. Oh well. <laughs> Getting ready now. I finished packing. Packing. I need to wash these dishes really quickly and then go. I think it's 8 o'clock now. I'm going to quickly do this and then be outie to the airport. I did get some rest. Love that for me. Um, I did switch my telfar bag to a book bag. Maybe my sister with a big old bag. You know? I could be her with a big old bag with things spilling over. Hello vlog. My sister and I, we made it to the airport. I curled, the, the ends are curled. Ish. Ish. <laughs> I, I knew we should have done the tighter flexi rod. Yeah, we're in the airport. It was pretty smooth. Like, we parked by, we parked like 20 minutes away. And a shuttle came and picked us up, brought us to the airport. Check-in was smooth. There was nobody in the line. TSA, smooth. Everything went smoothly this morning, so... I'm loving this energy, this pre-birthday energy. In the airport now, we're sitting at this table with outlets that don't work. I'm like traumatized now. Like I feel like Frontier is rubbing off on everybody. Cause why the is the outlets not working? But I'm gonna end this vlog here, but not before I tell you guys the Brazil song. Cause you know, whenever we travel, we have a little song. Let's get it real in Brazil. Real in Brazil. Let's get it real in Brazil. But yeah, that's the song. Really excited to go to Brazil. I have lots of content for y'all, like lots. So I'm gonna edit on the plane and hopefully by the time like we land in Peru, because we have two, two connections, the vlog will be able to go up. I'm just hoping. That's just wishful thinking. Okay, see y'all in my next video.